Hi guys, back out on the C10. Um, I'm going to be working on the driver's side fender now. Um, I'm not going to video quite as much. I think a lot of it will be the same as fitting the passenger side one. Um, this one is fitting worse than the passenger side one to start with. So I'll just show you what it looks like now. If I do anything particularly different, I'll try and video them bits, but yeah, this video won't be quite as intensive as the other one I've done. So I've got the fender on really loosely. Um, I was able to get this first bolt here in, and then two on the side here. The door gap doesn't look too bad down there. The height, or well, you know, the, the level there is pretty good. But if I show you these mounting holes here, there, there, that one's closer, but you know they're quite a bit off. And then as I show you the front, there's nearly a finger's width there that it doesn't meet up. I don't know if this was damaged in transit, but it's like. It's almost like the end of it has been stubbed. So it's like, instead of following the same like contour, it's like flattened off. And when this is like almost leveled up here, by the time it gets down to the bottom, it's out. So I don't know how much fettling this one is gonna have to take. I did see somebody else do something where they basically cut across here and took the gap out that was in in there and then welded it back together so I don't know if I'll do that or not um, but yeah basically that's how I'm starting with it okay so I put this fender on and it was so far out I ended up to start with I had to trim down this rear edge here I'll have to tack that back together but this sort of came out like this so it wouldn't sit on then the front I ended up just having to dismantle it this this edge here was way too high this section here where it sits in like that just was so far off that nothing would line up so I ended up basically drilling out all the spot welds that attaches all this together this edge here was too high so it was stopping this part of the wing coming down enough so I had to cut that basically took a slither out of about three mil or something welded that back together all of the holes have had to be uh, made bigger um, the one that bolts in where is that there there's one captive nut that bolts into this rather than on the uh, front panel I had to elongate the uh, or make the hole bigger on the front panel as well so there is like the odd relief cut in pieces uh, there, there in order for me to change the shape slightly to make it fit best I can it's still not it's not as good as the factory uh, fender but it's a lot it's like a lot better than it was I am just about to now uh, clean up all these mating faces, put some weld through primer on it before I put it back on the truck again, get it all set how I want it so I can tack it in place, then remove it, weld it all up. So yeah, I've literally just taken it off to scuff up anywhere where there's a mating face and stick some weld through primer on it. Okay, here's the fender back on. It's only bolted in place at the minute. I've just got to tack everything back in, but 
it's a much better fit than it was. Uh, I haven't been able to get it exactly perfect, but you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I managed to get some bolts in the tops here. It was the same situation as the other side, elongating the holes, flattening out the edge on these two middle ones, flatten out the edge a little bit on this one. These two here have lined up okay. The door gap is a little bit smaller than the other side, but the door still opens and shuts okay, so I'm quite happy with that. And the level here is okay. And it line, it lines up all the way down. Yeah, so I just need to tack tack these panels, this one, this one, and the support panel that goes in between here, tack these together uh, so I can remove the fender and then weld it all back together properly. And then after I've done that, I've just got to do the, uh, put the rear seals on it. So I haven't looked at the original ones yet, so fingers crossed. I'll be able to use them without repairing them, but it could be like the passenger side where they need repairing first. So yeah, out with the welder. Right, here's my driver's side fender, the original one off the truck. I did some repairs to this while it was still on the truck to tidy it up a little bit. One was just here where it rotted out the top. And then the same as the other one, it had rotted out down here. So I basically cut out a big hole, filled it, with a, like welded a patch into it. I'll see if my uh, editing skills are good enough to add a picture in here or not. So I'm going to take this apart, the same as I did the passenger side. You can see down there where I repaired it, where it was still on it. I didn't treat it properly on the back or anything, thinking it was just going to be a temporary measure. So I'll be taking this piece off, this, this here, clean them up. See if I need any uh, rust repair. Take the uh, trims off it and the badge. Fit new seals to those pieces. And then I'll be on with fitting them to the new pan fender. Okay, so all the trim is off the fender now. Uh, badge came off all okay. The trim... Uh, sorry, this piece here unbolted without any trouble. Hopefully that's just a case of cleaning that up and painting it. The main trim was held on with uh, different clips to the passenger side. These are plastic push-on clips as opposed to the uh, bolt-on ones or you know nut and bolt that was on the passenger side. So the only one that was the same sort of held on a little spare bit at the end. Uh, I broke that, but I've got some spares from the other ones. I think I'll have a look, see what I can uh, find. So I can find a whole matching set for both sides. <clears throat> and then these bits of trim that hold the seals on the back. They look in much better condition than the last one. The, uh, like the, the metal work. I'm hoping I'll get away with just cleaning these up. They do look a bit crusty, I might have to do a little bit of repair, but I'll pull these seals off and see what they look like. Alright, so I've wire brushed these uh, pieces off the hold the trim on the back of the fender, and I think they're perfectly acceptable to use for my truck. It's not a show truck, it's not concourse or anything like that, so what I'll do is clean, all, clean as much of the rust off as I can, treat it with the rust... Uh, encapsulator or something like that you know some sort of rust treatment and then 
paint them black I can fit the uh, trims back on them then with very little work so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with the condition of those. Okay, so I've got the pieces of trim fitted to the back of the fender that hold the seals. I've just used the old clips just to hold them on. Not there, one here. But I will do the same as what I said with the other one and riv nut these just so I can bolt them on and off a bit easier. There's the new seal on. New seal on that one as well. This end is all welded together now. It all fits on all right. So I'm going to be fitting this fender back on so that I can fit the, the trim to it, make sure it's all lined up right and then get the trim fitted on it. Here's the old fender here. I've done the same thing on this one that I did on the last one. Used masking tape on it to mark out where all the holes are. And then for the uh, badge on the side. So once I've got this fender back on the truck, all in the right place I'll then transfer the masking tape off the old fender onto this one so that I can fit the trim to it okay got my fender on finally and uh, the trim all mounted on it I did it the same way as I did the uh, passenger side it worked out right again uh, my door gap was a little bit closer this side but all right fits all right I think and then the uh, gaps on, on the front aren't perfect it makes it look a little bit worse now because I've got grey and black paint together but I'm quite happy with how that fits and then the passenger side still all good I took the trim back off that well, thanks for watching guys. That's it. Both fenders on. Trim all lined up. Yeah, like I say, next thing I'm going to pull them off, send them away to be painted. While they're off, I think I'm going to do some other little bits I've got to do. I need to um, replace the brake flexes because one of them's got a slight split in it. Bleed the brakes up. I think I might change the fluid while I'm doing that. Uh, I've got a repair to do to the passenger side sill. Um, I am just going to like patch that. But yeah, it's what will be in the next video, I'm not quite sure, but I have got those bits to do. Thanks very much for watching. Um, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, see you guys later. Cheers.